What's up, intermediate students? Mr. George and I are going to be going over uh, your technique requirements for this testing cycle. Okay, so we'll be expanding on our guillotine, our camorra a little bit, and our hip throw. So on this one, I'm going to hip throw George, get to T position. And when I throw him, I'm going to just drop down, put him in side mount, and he is going to recover his guard. We're working from guard this cycle, so when he recovers his guard, he could do camorra and guillotine, all that stuff we're talking about. So we're going to show that a couple of times. Remember, if George is, you know, he, he's a right-handed guy. I kind of know these right hands because we know each other. So a lot of people are. And if he goes to hit you with his right hand, you should move out of the way to get the T position. We're not testing on it like that. What I do want you to do is just move out of the way. It's a good idea whether you're punching or anything. So we move to the side, come in and grab around his hip. Okay, we don't want to be like this. Standing up straight, pulling his hip into me and my hip into him. Grab the wrist, step and bump him a little bit, and the throw. I've got my duck feet, I need to turn and look, and drop down into the side. Now, Mr. Jory, yeah, cross face candy cane, recovers his guard. And my hands are on the mat. Man, he could do Kimura or Yutin or any of that. And my hands are just kind of on the mat, because that's where they are when I have people inside now. So remember that, and it'll help you when you're rolling. So again, come into the side here. Boom, beautiful. Very good, Mr. George. He's like, I ain't gonna be inside mount. And that's the attitude and the mindset we want you to have. When you get thrown, cool thing about grappling, about jujitsu, about MMA, is you can get out, okay? So, that is very important. We really want that. We'll try one more time. Let's lower this time. Beautiful, okay. Now, let's go ahead and go into the next part of our defense is so, you know, if you're intermediate, you need to know, you know the uh, orange techniques. We're just adding on to them. So, Mr. George, go ahead and go for your Kimura. So, he does this. I put my leg up. I put it back down. And even if this guard's closed, watch. I push straight back. I step over. And see my hand, my palm's down. I turn it up. I put my knee up. So, look, this knee was up. That one was down. I switch them. Okay, now I set my buddy up and I fall all the way over to the side. So we're falling up to positions off our defense. He goes to the Kimura here. Look, knee up. I'm going to switch knee up, knee down on this side. I push his leg open. Now I need to pass his guard. See, this knee's up. This one's down. Switch. Seat belt. This is a part that a lot of people, even adult students, mess up. I can't just fall back. All this gave that Mr. George likes to do from here for back mount cycle, he can do. I've got to set him up. Okay, I still can't fall back. Fall to my side. That's the detail. We've got several months, we have months to work on the detail, okay? So just be sure on that back, back mount entry, you focus on putting one knee up and the other down, but once you get here, sit him up and fall to the side. Let's see that again just from the seat belt. You get the seat belt, sit him up. It, a lot of times we won't fall backwards here. You can't do that, but Mr. George, he might put all his weight on me, and then it would be harder. Everything would be harder. So if I fall to the side, none of his weight's on me. I can start choking him and stuff like that. All right, so that's the... The back mount entry from the Kimura defense. Now, the guillotine defense. What we're gonna do is pass the side mount, right? Now, we got our ostrich pose, we could choke him in the guard. But the thing is, a lot of times in the guard, when I do this and I start putting a little pressure on him, he opens his guard. See what I did there? I did this one, one leg to the other. You can kind of go your basic guard passes and stuff, but I just want to finish inside now. This, this idea is based off of this. George's been grappling. He knows the shoulder chokes of on flu. And when I start doing it to him, he knows it's coming, so he kind of abandons. When he does that, I'll pass to side now. And that's the technique, okay? So let's see it one more time. Okay, he uh, sets up there. Good. Okay, I start choking him. 
He kind of opens his guard, and I pass. And I'm just passing the side mount. If they tap, that's fine. But that's what we want to see from the beginners. The beginners get in the tap and guard. The intermediates are passing the side mount. And the advanced students, well, they'll get the tap and side mount. But we'll see that in a later video. But if you're an advanced student watching this, because you have to show these techniques too, remember how these just add on. Okay? So that is our uh, variations of the escapes. Now let's look at the transition. So you need to know the Kimura, you need to know the guillotine, and you need to know how to move from one to the other. Okay, so basically this. If I'm going here, right, and I, you know, whether he grabs around my leg or whatever, I need to be able to scoot back when the Kimura is not an option and go to the guillotine. Okay, so I pull him down. I'm here and it just starts falling apart. So immediately switch. Or he grabs around your, his leg here. Immediately switch. And look, when I switch, Mr. George, you don't have very good posture, dude. I pull him off his base. He doesn't have good posture. It'd be hard to do everything. That's why it's so important on our guillotine choke to do the snaky move. Me and Miss Evelyn were just talking about this. That, that's the missing detail for so many students. They get everything about the guillotine, they're like, that's all you gotta do, okay? So, hip technique, throw them, put them inside the mouth, they escape, we're right in guard where we wanna be. We can do our kimuras and guillotines and escapes and our combinations. So remember, beginners, you're doing sit-up sweep, you do a kimura, intermediates, kimura's not there, wrap up the guillotine choke. So that's your uh, requirements, advanced students, be sure you're watching the beginner and intermediate videos. Thank you.